Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm really, really excited about that, obviously. But to be honest with you, it hasn't really set in yet. You know, I haven't realized what's going on at all, right? Uh, like at this time, I think it's gonna take me at least a couple more days to like realize what all this means because it's like life changing, you know. Um, so yeah, it's like it will take me a couple couple more days to like really really understand what's going on. Being the first German is definitely kind of cool, but uh, I'm not like. We uh, are particularly proud about it or anything because, like, at the end of the day, you know, poker is like more like of an individual game. You know, you're not like playing for your country. Um, uh, it's like you know, you more like play for yourself, basically. You know, and so I definitely appreciate it. and I think it's a cool thing, um, and I think the media back home really thinks it's a cool thing also. <laughs> uh, but for me, for me especially, um, it's like it wasn't like in my head while playing or something like that. You know, I wanted to make it November nine. But I didn't want to make them November 9 in particular because I'm the first, first German player that would make it. Uh, yeah, I started playing like maybe five or six years ago. I um, I watched like you know poker on TV, the main event and, and all that good stuff that's like on on TV but back uh, back home in Germany. Um, and then I like start playing with friends at like a kitchen table, you know, five cent, ten cent cash games. And I discovered online poker and I uh, deposited like two hundred dollars or something like that online. Started playing, you know, like one dollar, two dollar tournaments. Um, yeah, a bit, a bit of small cash games, and I really enjoyed playing. And thought uh, immediately, like, realized what I think a lot of people don't that like poker is a game of skill, and if you like try to get good at it, you have like a good chance to like make a decent amount of money at it. Uh, so I re realized that right away, and uh, so that's what I did. <laughs> I tried to like, you know, improve my game, get good at it, talk to good players, watch some training videos and stuff like that, and get good at it. And, so I'm here now. <laughs> no, I didn't expect him to find me uh, myself here at the final table. No. Uh, I just, I, I just was uh, happy to be here to begin with because like playing a man was like you know kind of a dream come true. Um, and yeah, I had like a really really decent day one. I uh, tripled my stack. That's like really really good. Uh, day two went smooth also, and day three was really good. And once on day four we hit the money, and it was like it was pretty cool to catch your first main event, you know. And then I like grabbed the chip lead, I think on day five, I believe, and had it on day six also. So at this point, I was just like happy to be to be there, you know. And the first time I really got nervous was like with the 11 or 12 players left when I like started losing chips because nothing went my way. It was like the first time I got nervous or so excited about it. I'm thinking the next month's definitely gonna be exciting, but uh, I'm definitely looking forward to like go home now. Uh, maybe take a, maybe take a vacation or something like that. You know, like two or three weeks. That's like. Let everything set in and realize that what's going on. And after that, I'm gonna like probably gonna play WSOP or play a couple EPTs. Um, it's probably gonna be exciting, but I don't think it's gonna be nerve wracking just because it's definitely like the biggest thing in my in my life, uh, poker wise, and probably in general also. But at the end of the day, it's it's still it's still a it's still a poker tournament, you know. And I've played many many poker tournaments in my life, and I have played, um, made many final tables in my life. Uh, in my life, and obviously this is the biggest one, but it's still, you know, a poker tournament. And I try to think about it like that, you know. Obviously the money is huge and everything, but the decisions are still going to be like almost the same. You're going to try to make good decisions, play good poker, don't make big mistakes, and just go from there. You can't control the cards, so whatever happens, happens.